All right, everyone, welcome back to the next test with the Notifier SFP400. Let's go ahead and open up the panel and look on the inside. So as we can see, we do have a trouble on zone two. That's just there because I don't have a resistor in that pulse station at the moment. And then we still have the same circuit trouble. A lot of people have been saying it's because of the battery hack. Obviously, it's not that. Um, I'm smart enough to troubleshoot that problem out, and it wasn't that problem. So I still don't know what the circuit trouble problem is. And then also I do have a power trouble because the battery is not connected. I'm using the cable for something else right now. So that's everything in the panel. Let's go ahead and take a look at the devices. So for the notification appliance in this test, we have the system sensor P2WRL horn strobe. This is set on 15 candela. And if we look to uh, the right, we have an Edwards heat detector, I believe it's a 135 rate of rise and fixed. So the pulse stations in this test are both ADT. The one on the left is an ADT 5060-S, and then if we look on the right is an ADT B5009-0110. And we'll go ahead and start off the test by pulling the ADT pulse station on the left. Here we go. Push in, then pull for fire. Here we go. Alright, next on the list we'll go ahead and test out the heat detector. We'll go ahead and test it by using a lighter. I don't recommend this, so if you do do this, just be careful. I'm just going to hold the flame next to it and get this disc warmed up. Okay, I'm not sure the heat is getting to it because it's mounted like this and heat rises, so we're just going to hold it like this, put the lighter under it, and set it off. So here we go. Go. And there it goes. Alright, and to finish off the test, we'll go ahead and activate the ADT pulse station on the right. Here we go. In three, two, one. And now it's silenced. Okay, now we can go ahead and reset this pulse station here. You reset this one with a hex wrench. Just stick it into the hex screw in the middle of the pulse station. And then the pulse station will just fly on down. And then you'll flip this switch up to reset. And then now the panel just went into alarm because it now sees that there's no resistor in it. So I just acknowledged the panel. And then now we'll go ahead and uh, put this cover back on, retighten the screw, make sure it's tightened all the way, and now we're all reset. And then now we can go ahead and reset the ADT pulse station on the left. This one resets just like a simplex T bar, and there we go. And now that all the pulse stations are reset, we can go ahead and give the entire system a reset. System reset. And then we can go ahead and acknowledge our troubles that come in. Well, guys, that was the system test. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.